Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. This video will be the first part of our new to part tutorial series. In this series, first, we'll show you how to prepare a detailed axonometric section model using SketchUp, and then how to turn that model into an axonometric illustration using Adobe Illustrator. Let's start with preparing the detailed section model in SketchUp. First, we'll show you how to easily model surrounding buildings. For this, we will use CADMapper. CADMapper is a website that allows IDA users to produce CAD files, SketchUp models, and such for any location on Earth. CADMapper is a great tool for designers, architects, and illustrators. It saves hours of drawing and modeling. Also, no subscription is required. It's free for areas up to one square kilometer. Let's see how to use it. We select the area we want to model. You will see payment for the area over one square kilometer. But if you sign up with an academic email, it will automatically apply a 30% discount. We select the area we want to model. After you've selected the area, you can select your design program and make other settings. Then, create file. Click the download button and download the WinRAR file. The model includes buildings, topography, and roads, all in different layers. We chose the center lines option in road geometry since we'll not use the roads for this drawing. You can try outline or mesh surfaces options. Then you can move on to changing the style of the model. Turn off the profiles from the edit section in the styles menu and then change the style. You can also change the edge color. We can add shadows to the model. Now, we'll put our previously modeled building into our site model with Ctrl plus V keys. To edit the perspective, we can use standard views from the camera tab or open the views toolbar. Since it will be an axonometric view and parallel section, we'll set the view to the parallel projection. Let's start detailing the buildings that'll be in our scene. We can easily add roofs using an extension. For this we'll use the 1001-bit toolbar. You can access this toolbar from the extension warehouse. You can download it for free after logging in. We'll use the automatically create hip roof from a face tool from the toolbar. We'll select the surface of the building where the roof will be added and click on the Create Hip Roof tool. After adjusting the settings such as roof pitch and overhang, we click a Create Hip Roof. We'll add roof to this building. If there is a failure in a roof, it may be due to the broken lines. If you join the lines, the problem will be fixed. We'll add roof to this building.
You can also make parapet roofs with the offset tool. You can add depth with the push-pull tool. We'll add roof to this building. You can add depth with the push-pull tool. We'll add roof to this building. If there is a failure in a roof, it may be due to the broken lines. If you join the lines, the problem will be fixed. Since we'll not use topography in this visualization, we'll delete the existing topography and draw a flat plane instead. We'll move the buildings above the ground. We'll move the buildings above the ground. Another detail you can easily add is windows. For this we will use the window builder toolbar. You can access this toolbar from the extension warehouse. Again, you can download it for free after logging in. We'll use the rectangular window tool from the toolbar and edit the window, settings. After clicking on create and place, we'll add it to the surface of the building. If you want to empty the inside of the window, you can use the wall puncher tool from the same toolbar. You can duplicate a window by holding the control key. If you want to make multiple copies, you can produce as many copies you want with star and number. We will add shops under the building. We will add balconies.
We'll continue to further detail the buildings repeating the same steps. We'll add more windows. You can again use the 1001 bit tool for the stairs. For this, you'll need to use the Build Single Flight Straight Staircase tool from the toolbar. After adjusting the settings, you can place the stairs in the model. Place the stairs. If you want to add doors in your model, you can use 3D Warehouse. This library has numerous products that you can use for free. After choosing the door, you can download and use it in the model. We'll continue to further detail the buildings repeating the same steps. We'll add more windows. We'll continue to further detail the buildings repeating the same steps. This level of detail will be enough for our drawing. Now we can set the sections of our building. Instead of taking a section from whole building, we'll focus at interior of a specific location. We'll be looking inside the part marked in red. For this, we need three separate sections. We'll prepare a multiple section drawing where we'll need three separate sections versus We will set the final view of the scene before export. We will do all the visualization in Illustrator. Here we will make simple settings. You can also change the edge color. We can add shadows to the model. We'll start with the first section. For this, we'll select the section plane from the section toolbar and bring it to the surface we want to cut. After cutting, you can move the section plane with the move tool. With the display section plane tool, you can open and close our section plane. After the settings, we'll right click on the scene to that we've opened earlier to update the new view. and then you can save the final model. Now we're ready to export the file. To prepare the drawing in Illustrator, you can export it through the layout. For this, we'll choose Send to Layout from the File tab. From there, you can choose the page size from the layout to make the image as a vector. We change the setting from SketchUp model to Hybrid from Raster. Then we'll export PDF from the File tab. And that's it. Now let's apply the same steps for the other sections. We'll continue with the second section. 
Select the section plane and bring it to the surface we want to cut. After cutting, move the section plane with the Move tool. This time you don't need to make sense to lay out again. Update scene 2 and save the model. Then you can write a click on the model that is open in the layout and click Update Model Reference. You will see that the model has been updated. Then you can export PDF. Now, we'll prepare and save our last section in the same way. Select the section plane and bring it to the surface we want to cut. After cutting, move the section plane with the Move tool. This time you don't need to make sense to lay out again. Update scene 2 and save the model. Then you can write a click on the model that is open in the layout and click Update Model Reference. You will see that the model has been updated. Then you can export PDF. Finally, you'll need a PDF file of the whole model. We remove the section planes and edit the view. Then we can export and that's it. Now all templates are ready to visualize in Adobe Illustrator. In the next video, we will continue from Illustrator and finish the visualization. Don't forget to come back for part 2. You can push the bell icon for the notification. We hope you like this video. If have other modeling tips share with us in the comments section. See you on the next one.